When I was looking at study abroad programs my sophomore year, my friends actually tried to dissuade me from applying to Oxford. To them, study abroad should be a break from the academic stress at Amherst. And the urban myth at Oxford is that all you do is study and suffer. I like a good challenge, so I applied anyways and got in, but I was definitely expecting the worst, especially since I had studied abroad in France the semester before and had had a lot of trouble with their university system. And so I was especially expecting the worst at Oxford, whose tutorial system is world-renowned for its rigor. Let me explain. At Oxford, we spend very little time in class. This term, for instance, I only have one and a half hours of class a week, and all of that time is spent one-on-one -on -one with the professor, which we call tutors here. So it might seem like we have a lot of free time, but it really just means that we're working a lot independently. I'm a math and French major, so while I might sometimes have supplemental lectures, I really learn the material by doing a lot of readings on my own. Math is my primary tutorial, so I meet with my tutor once a week for an hour to go over my work. French is my secondary tutorial, so I see my tutor once every two weeks to discuss my essays, and the rest of the time I'm reading stacks of text and writing. Each essay is about 2,000 words. Much to my surprise, I didn't actually die. I was actually able to enjoy myself, whether that meant joining the orchestra or taking a couple weekend trips with friends. There were two particularities of the system that I thought really helped. For one, as visiting students, we don't take exams. So we're really here to learn for the sake of learning. And two, Oxford runs on trimesters, which we call terms, and they're only eight weeks long each. And even better, between each term, we get a six week long break. So while we can't really go gallivanting across Europe every weekend like the typical study abroad student, because we have a lot of intense work, we really get a chance to do whatever we want during these six week long term breaks. So it balances out in the end. I was able to go back to France for a month and have the true language immersion experience and the true travel experience that I wasn't able to have when I was a student there. So while Oxford is intimidating, and while it is very intense, it's also an incredibly rich and nuanced experience that I am so glad that I have had the chance to have. I am so glad that I did not listen to my friends and that I did apply and that I did decide to go.